All right, so we've got our room painted and it looks like a castle now. The next step is the ceiling. And yes, I know the Gryffindor common room doesn't have storm clouds in the ceiling. That's the Great Hall. I understand this. It's not real, the ceiling. It's just bewitched to look like the night sky. But we want this to be the coolest full Hogwarts Harry Potter experience. So that's what we're going to do. Storm clouds. Let's go. Before we can truly begin, we have to get rid of the hideous ceiling fan. It's disgusting. We're replacing it with a gnarly old chandelier. If you ever want to repaint a chandelier, get yourself a painter's hook and hang it from your basketball hoop. And here's the chandelier we're going to replace it with, and we found this for like 10 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. We start with a simple base coat of primer, then we're switching to a dark brown fusion paint. I think I used a couple different paints here. One was a satin otter brown and it wasn't really dark enough, so then I switched to a darker brown for the second coat of paint. Your base coat here doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna paint over all this with some golds to make it look like brass. So like I said, the goal here is to make this look like aged brass because we really just want it to look like something that could belong in Hogwarts Castle. So my first step is to paint everything over with a gold paint and this is kind of our medium gold. This is a cheapo that I bought from Michaels and you brush it on and you just want some of the brown underneath to still be exposed through. For a much better video on this painting technique, check out Van Oak's props and that link will be down in the description. And then I go over everything with a lighter gold and this is really hard to tell on camera because it's a really subtle effect, but just helps it look a little bit more, you know, brass and gold. Next up is weathering. So I just take a little bit of water, add in some black paint, and then use a brush to just lightly dab it on all over the chandelier and quickly wipe away with a paper towel. And then for more of an aged brass effect, I add a little bit of patina in. Is that a word? But yeah, it's this light sea foam blue color that I just kind of dab on and then quickly wipe away with a damp rag. Looks old, right? Then since I'm not an electrical channel, we're just gonna skip past the part where I get rid of this old gnarly fan and put up the new chandelier. Voila! We have the chandelier installed. We need more bulbs, but let's test the dimmer. Dimmer. Operational. How's the dimmer? How do you work the dimmer? Nothing oh, like it's a little switch on the side. Nice. <laughs> okay, it's time to do the ceiling. And since this is going to involve a lot of spray adhesive, I'm first going to coat the ceiling using the stapler and a bunch of these. So let's get started. I'm doing this step because if I ever decide to take this down, I don't want to peel off a bunch of glue from my ceiling. Ah. This is hard. A million more to go. So they are a little hard and awkward because they're bigger, but you get the hang of it pretty quick. If you ever try this, I just suggest getting yourself some really good shoes because you're going to be on a ladder a lot. Also, having your arms raised this much, your shoulders are probably going to be a little stiff the next day. But other than that, it's just pretty repetitive and simple. I mean, on this part, this was probably the hardest because I had to do some form of measuring just to cut around the chandelier base, but it's all getting covered up by polyfoam eventually, so you don't have to be perfect. Just do the best you can and get it up there. Due to the slope of our roof, our ceiling has this other section that's kind of sloped at a 45. I decided to cover that with clouds as well, so just overlapped over the crease there with some paper and just kept going as normal. And eventually I came to the ends and I just cut down some smaller strips to fill in those small gaps. So I got all this paper at Hobby Lobby and when I was there, I just did math in my head and tried to overestimate how many I need and I came up with the number 44. I'm down to these scraps to fill that last hole. Math is hard, everybody, but I'm going to make it. Whew. 44 sheets. This is all I got left. Failed it. Now that the ceiling is entirely coated with paper, it's time to move to the fun part and start adding some lights. These are some lights I got off Amazon, links down in the description. 
but there's two strips that connect to the one node and each strip was 30 feet. So on the phone we can control it, make it green, make it red. Does that actually work? These are all podcast. Oh, hello. Toast. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Let's go. All right. So we have our lights and we're trying to figure out how to make this lightning effect work. I think we're going to start in this corner and kind of do one zigzaggy strip that way and then go to this corner and go one strip that way. I don't know. You got any better ideas? So yeah, these LED strips are just peel and stick, so this is pretty simple. It did help to have the little helpers grab the waste as I went. Good enough for now. We found the thunder setting on the phone. So it's not sound controlled, it just gives sporadic flashes of the blues and purples. I think that's gonna work. I think this is enough. So yeah, this monster box of polyfill we found on Amazon. It's a 20 pound bag and the links are down in the description. I originally thought this much was overkill, but as you'll see shortly, we go through a lot of this. Comes apart pretty easy. No idea what I'm doing. Yep, that's pretty much my motto around here. One thing I will say that I learned later in this process is, you wanna spray the spray adhesive on the ceiling and let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute and get tacky before you start putting this polyfill up. So I'm being a bit too quick in these clips, you want to spray a pretty good area and don't worry about it like getting solidified too fast. You want it to be tacky. I started by just going over the lights for no real reason other than I just wanted to see what it looked like. Well, so far so good, but I'm gonna go uh, find some gloves. Definitely should have done that right off the bat. Ah. So I got my gloves and got to work, and at this point, you'll want to make sure you have some good tunes or some good podcasts to listen to, because you're going to be at this for a while. But first, one other thing. Check this out. Fishing line and floating candles. So before I uh, continue with the polyfill, I'm going to strategically place and put little eye hooks or eyelets or whatever they're called up in the ceiling so I can hang 12 of these to make it look more like a great hole. Once those are up, we'll hang some of this fishing line, and then we'll keep going with the polyfill. Alright. Man, we should hurry up and get dark. I'm excited for nighttime. My progress for the day stopped there, but check out how this thing looked at night. All right, next morning and we're back to work. I had to tie up all the fishing line around all the candles and then tie them in knots around the eyelets in the ceiling. Once that was done, back to polyfill. And again, find some good music, find some good podcasts, cause this took some time. You're gonna suffer, but you're gonna be happy about it. So this does take a while. Might have nightmares about putting this stuff up. I don't know about nightmares, but I definitely saw this stuff when I closed my eyes to lay down to go to bed that night. It's pretty much an all day project. And again, lots of time on a ladder and lots of time with your hands raised up in the air. I was a little sore the next morning, but I'm old, so that's what you get. Oh yeah, and you'll wanna lay down some tarps. Remnants of this spray adhesive tend to float and fall all over the place. But anyway, onward I went, because just like Harry Potter chasing down horcruxes, there was no turning back at this point. 
One last thing, be sure to leave a window open or wear a mask if you can't because this stuff really reeks. One last candle and small section of polyfill and then it was time to show it off to the boys. Check it out. Whoa. What do you That's think? Good. Good? That's it? That's all I get? Great. Okay, so I was hoping for more of an excited reaction, but I mean, look at this. I'm pretty excited. Oh, buddy, I can't wait for it to get dark. What? Holy cow. All right, let's try the lightning effect. And I really do like the random changing colors. Look at this thing. Did you see the room? Yeah, I loved it. Turn it off. I like that. Wait, why is it changing? Because I set it to change. And, and it, they're different colors. Uh huh. Does it look awesome or what? Are we? I love it. Awesome? Everything is awesome. But we're not done yet. I got rid of all the regular bulbs and replaced them with LEDs because the last thing I want is for any of this polyfill to fail and fall and land on a hot light bulb. And they're all dimmable, and I put in a dimmer switch. Oh, yes. Dimmer switch, there you go. Nice, very bright. And these do not get hot at all, so I don't have to worry about any of that stuff falling from this stuff and being a hazard. Perfect. These floating candles that we bought off Amazon all take two AA batteries a piece. So if you get these, be prepared for that extra cost. But they're pretty simple. You just unscrew the bottom, put the batteries in, screw the cap back on, and then you can tighten the cap to turn them on or just loosen it to turn them off. Leviosa. But then it was finally time to play with the wand that came with these candles. Nux. Vamos. Are you changing the color of the sky? We discovered that the wand actually interacts with the LED strips too. Is it getting darker in here? Yeah, I made it darker. Nox. Lumos. Ooh. Fun for days and hours, you guys. Why did it fall? It's the thunder. <laughs> how do you do that, Dad? Dad, how do you do yeah, the thunder? Have Magic. The how do you think I do it? How? Magic, I just told you. Just tell me, actually. We it's made a magic bad. bedroom. Just tell me how you do the thunder. It's totally magic. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to click the video we've got queued up here for more Harry Potter magic.